Okay, I thought I'd make a little video where we're at. Um, jump pretty far ahead in the whole timeline here of this build. Um, I didn't really want to capture everything because I mean, there's a freaking trillion build videos on the on the YouTubes. So, is what it is. Um, so, let's see. We'll talk about what I've done. So, powder coat on the frame. That's done. Engine is uh, mostly cleaned up. Still got a little bit of work done there. Swing arm took a lot of work. Um, I'll throw some before pictures in uh, at some point. But this thing was um, pretty beat when I got it. It was uh, it was spray painted at some point before. And please don't ever spray paint dirt bikes. It never looks good, even when it's fresh and new. Just don't do it. It's a nightmare for anybody ever trying to clean it again. Um, so that's cleaned up and in. New swing arm bearings. Um, IMS pegs. These are lowered, so half inch down, half inch back. Um, really not a whole lot else in the engine there. Plastics are going on. It's going to be like all white plastics from UFO. Um, suspension was done. Uh, apparently, it actually had like some ancient gold valves from what the tuner was telling me. Um, I guess he saw them and they're like, oh, this kind of looks like gold valves, but not what he was used to. So he actually reached out to his, uh, his folks and they're like, yeah, it is super old. We don't even have any like specs for it. So we don't know what to tell you for valving. So gold valves are replaced. New ones are in, um, front springs are actually good for my weight. New fork spring or, uh, excuse me, shock spring down there. Uh, gold valve in it as well. Um, I think that's mostly kind of it for where we're at. With the bike, um, so let's talk about some issues that I found. So this bike was listed as uh, ready to rip, no, you know, no issues, blah blah blah. Which I guess, to be fair, was ready to rip. I did ride it before I tore it down, so you know, not completely inaccurate. But uh, radiator on the right side had some leaks. Um, the dude said, I reached out to him actually after the sale and he was like, oh yeah, we'll take care of you, blah, blah, blah. Said he was out of town and he'd reach out when he got back. Never heard from him again, of course. Um, so I'll probably do some like eBay radiators on there. Try my luck. Um, what else? The rear wheel was pretty cracked there. Almost all the way through. So that's fun. Um, so we're just going to do new wheels from Tusk front and rear. Um, and then I've got hubs sitting up there. They're coated white. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The front brake setup I realized was kind of just a hot mess. Um, it was just kind of cobbled together. It was not routed and, and done like it was supposed to. Oh, speaking of front brake, um, there's some. Some wear in there, some electrical tape wrapped around. So I went ahead and got a new front brake cable. Um, and let's see, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, so I'm working on putting the clutch cable back in and then I realized that that piece there is broken. That's cool. Looks like there might've been some JB weld at some point, um, which you know, all it does is hold the cable in place. It's not a huge deal. I would JB weld it back myself if I had the top part, but I don't. So we'll kind of figure that out, see what happens. Um, I think that's mostly it for now. Okay, bye.